So the next type of uh, molecules or combination of molecules actually that we are going to talk about are lipoproteins. Uh, and this is the way that your body transports lipids. We know that lipids are nonpolar primarily, so they have very poor solubility in aqueous solutions like your blood. So we need some type of transport mechanism uh, to get them around your body, and lipoproteins are what do it. Uh, so what happens is that lipoproteins are basically uh, you can, often a spherical structure with phospholipids uh, surrounding the outside. So we've got a phospho and just a single layer of phospholipids uh, with the you know, polar group on the outside because water is out here. And then we've got the nonpolar region of the phospholipids on the inside. There's also uh, proteins that are on the outside of this membrane that ver uh, serve various functions. And then you might also have uh, cholesterol molecules giving uh, some structure to the uh, sort of outside of this uh, lipoprotein. And then inside these uh, spherical lipoproteins are the lipids that your body's trying to transport around. Primarily cholesterol esters. And uh, triacylglycerols. And that's uh, primarily um, how your body transports lipids around uh, your body. Now, the um, density of these lipoproteins uh, can cause them to uh, serve basically better or worse functions in your body. And the two uh, primary uh, classes of lipoproteins that we hear about, hear about are low density lipoproteins. and HDL, high density lipoproteins. All right, so let's take a quick look at the differences between these two types of lipoproteins. Okay, so the density of the low density lipoproteins are between 1.006 grams per milliliter to 1.063 grams per milliliter. And of course that means the high density lipoproteins are going to have a, a little bit higher. So they start at 1.063 going up to 1.210 grams per milliliter. And the reasons why they have different uh, densities are primarily of their different compositions. So if we broke them up into the uh, different types of molecules that are contained in the lipoprotein, um, we could see where that difference uh, in density derives from. Uh, LDL uh, lipoproteins are about 6%, uh, triacylglycerols, 22% phospholipids, 8% cholesterol on the membranes, 42% uh, cholesterol esters, and then of course uh, rounding that out would be 22% proteins. Whereas the high density lipo, uh, lipoproteins have a much higher percentage of proteins and a much lower uh, percentage of cholesterol esters and cholesterol. And about the same percentage in phospholipids and triacylglycerides. Okay, uh, You often hear that LDL is considered the bad cholesterol or bad form of cholesterol and of course HDL is the good kind of cholesterol and the reason why is that the uh, HDL 
uh, lipoproteins, the high density lipoproteins, are able to actually go around your body and pick up free cholesterols and other uh, cholesterol uh, lipids, cholesterol type lipids in your bloodstream because they have a much lower uh, percentage of cholesterols and cholesterol, cholesterol esters and a higher percentage of proteins. Uh, they can essentially fit more in them and so they can pick up wayward cholesterol uh, in your bloodstream so it doesn't build up and form plaque or uh, other types of harmful um, health-related uh, processes.